What's up guys, Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com. Today it's just gonna be a video, uh, not like critiquing, but kind of just going over some points that I felt like were misinformed on Seth Ferrosi's recent uh, video. Seth Ferrosi, if you don't know, is a IFBB pro bodybuilder in the 212 class. Um, super cool guy, you know, he has uh, he's pretty outspoken in terms of He's not, you know, one of those pros who's gets all uncomfortable when you talk about, you know, the drug use in the sport. Like, he'll actually tell you how it is. He has a series where he kind of goes into the stuff like that. And his most recent upload, he was talking about SEO, which is site enhancement oil. And it's not really, it's even though they call it SEO, it doesn't have to be oil. It's just kind of like the category site enhancement products have been lumped into just because so many of them are oil based. And that's kind of the whole premise of this video because basically one of the first things he talks about when it comes to SEOs, he mentions how he would never use it and he thinks it's stupid because it's it's fake and it's not permanent or and it's permanent, but it's not like real muscle and such and such. Then he goes on to talk about how hyaluronic acid based SEO or, you know, site enhancement product is uh, good and superior because it's, it's not permanent. What he's totally not realizing is hyaluronic acid based SEO products are going to sit in your muscle longer than a synthol oil based product. If you're using like traditional synthol, all it is is sterile oil with some alcohol thrown in and maybe some lidocaine. And it's literally the same oil your gear would be suspended in, which your body metabolizes just like any other oil. If it's sterile and it doesn't, you know, you don't get an infection, obviously, and create an abscess around it, which it would then become permanent. If you're, it's used correctly, your body's going to metabolize synthol way quicker than it's going to get rid of the hyaluronic acid-based SEO or site enhancement product. I'm just going to refer to them all as SEO, even though... The O technically stands for oil. What you guys have to realize when it comes to SEO, especially with these new uh, hyaluronic acid based ones coming out, it's not like somebody came out with a new science here. And I feel like bodybuilders are looking at this product like it's some sort of thing exclusive to the bodybuilding scene and not really understanding what the literal thing is. When you look at synthol, your gear suspended in oil the oil is sterile that is technically synthol if you shoved enough of it into your muscle to stretch out the fascia hyaluronic acid the premise behind that is basically it sucks up multiple times its weight in water and this can create the reason why i actually think it's superior to oil-based products is because the volume you need to put into a muscle to achieve fascial stretching is a lot lower. You could put, okay, obviously there's no like definitive ratio of however many milliliters of an HA SEO versus an oil-based SEO equals, you know, like it's gonna vary, but you know, like milliliter to milliliter, the hyaluronic acid one, you're gonna achieve fascial stretching at a much lower volume. And that's why the protocols that go along with it have you using a lot less product and the oil-based ones have you just jabbing in like hundreds of milliliters over the course of, you know, six weeks and doing a, a giant load phase. And then, you know, a maintenance phase where you're doing another like few hundred milliliters. It's cause that stuff it's, it doesn't create any, uh, it doesn't engorge the muscle at all. It doesn't suck any water into it. doesn't suck anything into it. All you're doing is just jabbing oil in until there's enough oil sitting there that it's stretched out the fascia. Cause there's literally no more room to accommodate it. So it forces the muscles to stretch. And then your body would eventually metabolize all that oil. And then you'd be left with space there, which you would then ideally fill with real muscle tissue, which is the whole, you know, premise and the point of the whole thing. And those freak shows you see online are guys that just like have no muscle to begin with and just jab thousands of milliliters into themselves of random oil they're probably just jabbing olive oil into themselves because it's cheap it's not like a representation of what oil-based synthol is getting back to the hyaluronic acid based ones the reason i think it's superior 
is because you can use a lower volume and achieve a greater result with probably a lower margin of error because you're pinning less times. And the most important thing being um, it's actually used in cosmetic procedures, which is where the idea came from in the first place. So all these guys, they think this is like some like revolutionary bodybuilding product. This is just what they use to fill in wrinkles in your face and use for, you know, like dermal fillers. So for example, if I wanted to get this wrinkle or like these wrinkles filled in, you know, I'm sure you've heard of Botox before. Like there's other dermal fillers and a lot of them are based on hyaluronic acid. That's literally what they are. And the whole point of it is if you put a highly cross-linked hyaluronic acid injection into these wrinkles, it sucks a bunch of water into it and it fills out that space or that wrinkle. And it's at the whole point of using it is because it lasts a long time. So it's way more permanent than some sterile oil you'd be shoving in yourself. So to say it's temporary and it like goes away quickly. No, the whole point of it is to sit there for almost two years if you're using a good quality product. So no, you're not getting rid of this stuff quickly. This stuff is as permanent as it's going to get when it comes to SEO products. And then in addition to that, I'm seeing garbage about people talking about how if it's not, if it comes like mixed already, then it's low potency and you like can't, you can't get a product that's mixed and it be high potency. It has to be mixed yourself. Go to any cosmetic, you know, plastic surgeon, whatever, and see what they're going to recommend for filling in a wrinkle, which is going to be a Juvederm or whatever brand of hyaluronic acid they're using. This is literally the cosmetic grade you know, filler, it comes in a preloaded syringe. It's not in a fucking vial that you mix with bacteriostatic water. Like these guys are claiming is necessary for it to be high potency. If it's highly cross-linked and it's, you know, has enough active compound in it, then it's, that's what it is. You don't need to add water to it and like have it not like do some special thing to make it more potent. You know what I mean? So these guys using it as like a competitive advantage or what would you call it in marketing when you're trying to like basically come up with, you know, a reason why your product's superior to another competitive advantage, I think is the term. And it's just dumb because it's based on nothing. Like literally go get, go look at Juvederm's website. That's like a cosmetic grade filler used for wrinkles. And it's literally pure high quality hyaluronic acid and it comes preloaded it doesn't come in a syringe you mix you know what i mean or it doesn't come in a vial that you mix prior your your cosmetic plastic surgeon isn't gonna reconstitute a vial of of hyaluronic acid in front of you and like mix it around be like oh i gotta do this right in front of you or else it's not potent like that's so not how it works if somebody's trying to like sell you on that point like you should already start questioning things. And then what you should also question is how much active compound is it in it to begin with? Cause these guys claiming potency of their product, I have yet to see a product actually list how much hyaluronic acid is in the product. They just say high potency, but it's like, even when I see the consistency of these products on the market being marketed as SEOs, it's like, not the same. It's not as dense and cross-linked as you would get if you really got a cosmetic grade filler. Cause it's like, if you really wanted the most potent hyaluronic acid, just compare it to the consistency of like a Juvederm or something like that. You can see what it's actually supposed to look like. And if your product, whatever you're buying on, um, whatever bodybuilding sites are selling it or whatever, if it doesn't look, if it doesn't come in this kind of consistency, you should start to question the potency of it. Cause it's like the real stuff is like gel. Like you, I don't think you should be able to suck it up with a tiny, like 20, 23 to 25 gauge needle. Like that stuff comes preloaded for a reason. Cause it's not something that you can just like suck up. It's like literally like jizz in a syringe. I'm not kidding. <laughs> 
And uh, the more cross-linked it is, aka the more like potent it is, the more like granular and thick and gel-like this stuff gets. So if you have something that's even resembles liquid and it can be like sucked up easily and it's like a liquid in any capacity, like it should be like really viscous gel. Seems like there's a lot of misinformation when it comes to this topic and people are like taking for face value what people are saying about these products that are pushing them or just like don't 100% know what they're talking about. And if you want to learn more about it, just go to like the cosmetic fillers, the brands, their websites. They explain it a hundred times better than the bodybuilding guys are because these are the companies that actually created these hyaluronic acid based fillers. So just because the purpose is slightly different because we'd be using it for fascial stretching, the whole point is still the same. You're trying to fill in a space and suck up water and blow up that space and fill it in. If you're using an HA based SEO, it's going to sit there for one to two years. So just be aware of that and uh, do your research. There's a lot of clinical studies on hyaluronic acid based intramuscular shots, you know, cosmetic procedures. Um, there's tons of brands of this stuff on the market of cosmetic grade stuff used by plastic surgeons and um, stuff like that. It's not hard to find info on the stuff. It's just in the the capacity of in a bodybuilding, you know, using it for bodybuilding purposes. That's where people are starting to like not realize that this stuff has already been out for decades. It's just not been used really in this application commonly and whoever was the first people to think to jab this in a muscle innovative thinking for sure but it's like it's not like it's new technology you know what i mean so just look at the consistency of it and you'll be able to tell and how much active compound is in it make sure you get like it says what it is anyways um hopefully that helps some guys or you may, may have found it interesting anyways um definitely something to look into though if you're uh interested in that sort of stuff because it's uh um a lot of misinformation out there so anyways if you guys like this video drop a like subscribe if you're new here hit that notification bell thank you guys for watching talk to you soon